In today's video, let's get creative and see how we can create the Zentangle Paradox artworks. If you're interested in Zentangle Paradoxes in detail, I'll put a link in the description. Let's start with a basic paradox by using a square canvas and adding a square box to it. I'm also going to increase the stroke to 3 points. Time to draw the paradox lines. Let's switch to the pen tool and start by drawing lines inside the box. We start from the bottom left corner and draw a line to the other side with an offset. Then we keep repeating the same process. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you accidentally used a too large offset, you can press the Command or Ctrl Z button to undo the last line and try again. If you have snapping turned on, it will be super easy to snap to the previous lines drawn. I think this looks about right. Next, we select the box and the lines we have drawn and group them. Our pattern is now ready. I'm going to resize the group and make it a quarter of our canvas size. I can now duplicate the group and fill the canvas as shown. We now have our paradox artwork. Pretty easy. We can use the flip horizontal function to mirror the top left and the bottom right group to make the pattern more interesting. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to group these four groups and then double the canvas size by using the crop tool. With the crop tool selected I can just multiply the current values with two. Once our canvas is resized we can reposition and make new duplicates to get a nice pattern. Pretty awesome. Feel free to experiment with mirroring various parts to get different patterns. Here is another variation you can try. Instead of using the paradox curve inside a box, we can apply the lines inside a triangle. Once we have our paradox triangle, let's duplicate and rotate it to fill the other empty triangular areas. Pretty nice. Just as before, this is the base for the rest of our canvas. I'll group the current objects and then keep duplicating it until the canvas is filled. As you now know the basics, keep experimenting for different patterns. For example, I can go back to the initial triangle we created earlier and mirror the duplicates this time. As you can see, we get a different pattern this time. Let's now mirror the top and the bottom groups. Cool. Before I leave you, here is a more complex variation. But even here, the steps are very similar. We start with a triangular paradox curve, which we can easily make following the basic instructions from the beginning of the video. If we duplicate and mirror this into the box, we get our first element. This element we can duplicate and mirror again until we have a box in the center. Let's add a second paradox triangle. Mirror this and use it on the sides of the box with the first element. Finally, we can add another paradox triangle, which we then can use to fill the rest of the canvas. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you liked this video and don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.